Hey, Jason, let's play the exchange between Senator Ted Cruz and uh, Donald Trump over the issue of New York values, because I've, I've got a lot to weigh in on here in a personal way, because my values are not compatible. There's no place in New York for a conservative like me, because Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, has said so. But So there's some relevance here for me, and I take this a little personally, so... Let's let's play that exchange. Senator Cruz, you suggested Mr. Trump, quote, embodies New York values. Could you explain what you mean by that? You know, I think most people know exactly what New York values are. I am from New York. I what, 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 you're from New York, so yeah. you might not. But I promise you, in the state of South Carolina, they do. And, and listen, there are many, many wonderful, wonderful working men and women in the state of New York. But everyone understands that the values in New York City are socially liberal or pro-abortion or pro-gay marriage, focus around money and the media. Uh, not too many years ago, Donald did a long interview with Tim Russert. And in that interview, he explained his views on a whole host of issues that were very, very different from the views he's describing now. And his explanation, he said, look, I'm from New York. That's what we believe in New York. Those aren't Iowa values, but this is what we believe in New York. And so that was his explanation. And, and I guess I can, can frame it another way. Not a lot of conservatives come out of Manhattan. I'm just saying. <laughs> just so if I could, because he insulted a lot of people, I've had more calls on that statement that Ted made. Uh, New York is a great place. It's got great people. It's got loving people, wonderful people. When the World Trade Center came down, I saw something that no place on earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. You had two 100... <laughs> you had two 110-story buildings come crashing down. I saw them come down. Thousands of people killed, and the cleanup started the next day, and it was the most horrific cleanup probably in the history of doing this and in construction. I was down there and I'd never seen anything like it. And the people in New York fought and fought and fought and we saw more death and even the smell of death. Nobody understood it and it was with us for months. The smell, the air, and we rebuilt downtown Manhattan and everybody in the world watched and everybody in the world loved New York and loved New Yorkers and I have to tell you, that was a very insulting statement that Ted made. I actually thought they, they both made excellent points here and then I can say that as somebody, you know, I live in New York, I'm taxed by New York to death. You know, I now notice that after saying repeatedly she's not going to respond to Donald Trump, now Hillary decided to respond to one of Trump's comments from the debate last night. She said, just this once, Trump's right. New Yorkers value hard work, diversity, tolerance, resilience, and building better lives for our family. Well, we'll let Ted Cruz respond. Here's, here's why they're both right. Because 9-11 showed a resiliency and a, a level of courage that you don't often get to see in a lifetime. I mean, what the 9-11 first responders did and in the aftermath of 9-11, and I was down there in the days after 9-11, and I was standing next to the, the, the rubble, and I was doing a TV show, and it was, you know, still, it was like s snowing soot. And I watched Campbell's Soup. I will always buy Campbell's Soup after what they did. They set up a free soup kitchen for anybody who was working down there and other restaurants opened their door to, doors and were feeding people for free that it's a, it was an amazing moment in the in the midst of such evil such goodness came about from from people not just in new york but all over the country i remember we had started our syndicated program our radio show the day before that week People in Los Angeles were signing the biggest banner with messages of love and hope and peace and, you know, just support. And they sent it up to me, and I remember reading it. I still have it. It was just amazing. So, you know, yeah, that was an amazing moment. New Yorkers, you know, they're kind of a special breed you know, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, very outspoken. But Donald Trump is, is right in that sense. But Ted Cruz is right in his sense. I live in New York. And, it, you know, for those of you that don't live in New York, i got to tell you something. You have no idea what it's like to live under communism. 
We have Comrade de Blasio. He wants an apology. Hillary wants an apology. Andrew Cuomo. These people have ruined this state. And I mean ruined it. That's why so many people are leaving New York and New Jersey. That's why so much money is leaving New York and New Jersey. 